Arizona has become a hub for semiconductor factories, and these factories use a lot of water, millions of gallons a day. But one expert I spoke to says the story isn't all bad for one of our most important resources. Whether it's helping you send a text or getting a rocket to space, microchips and the semiconductors inside them power a lot of the technology around us. But to make this fingernail sized technology, factories like the Taiwanese Semiconductor Manufacturer, or TSMC, need millions of gallons of water a day. Sarah Porter is the director of the Kyle Center for Water Policy at ASU. A semiconductor plant needs to take a lot of water in because they have to purify that water. And the amount of water, this ultra purified water that the plant gets is small in comparison with the amount of water that's taken in. And Porter says that these factories use this same water, the water that's coming out of your tap, in order to clean and cool factory equipment. She says they're able to recycle 90% of that water for some other use. Porter says at the end of the day, these massive plants use less water than industries like golf courses or data centers and are still bringing in a lot of economic benefits. But not every Valley City can accommodate these plants. Chandler, Mesa, Phoenix, those are some cities that have enacted ordinances or rules around um, new water uses to ensure that they're not giving away chunks of their water portfolio for industries that don't have much benefit. Porter predicts cities will be able to reclaim even more water from these plants in the future once an advanced water purification plant is built. This isn't at all a case of um, you know, Phoenix not being aware or someone being oblivious. This has really been a carefully, carefully thought out a development. Development that could bring in a lot of cash if all goes to plan. In Phoenix, Adam Mincer, ABC 15, Arizona.